Hi Lindham Juniors, this is John, junior coach at Lindham. Uh, for today's exercise we're just going to do a little bit of wicket keeping work. One of the most important things with being a wicket keeper is your starting stance uh, and your agility. So this is just a little exercise to get them basics right, okay? Uh, we will start off with the wicket keeping stance and to help me today, uh, Ollie. Uh, senior player at Lindham will be joining us to give us uh, a demo. So starting with the stance, uh, you'll start off with your feet about a shoulder's width apart and into a semi-squat position, at which point, like that, your knees on your elbows, bring your uh, your hands up under your chin that's your starting position and now an adjustment for when you're facing the ball please Ollie balance forward hands off the knees gloves under your eyes that's a good starting position okay just work on that and hold that pose for a while there we go okay so for this exercise you just need a central point, a flower pot will do, two shoes, about a pace either side of the flower pot. You start with a ball in each shoe. So you need three balls in total. And then you sidestep either side of the flower pot to the shoe and exchange balls. This is fantastic for agility, but you're always maintaining a sideward step and your feet come together behind the stumps. So it makes you good at taking low balls on the offside and the leg side. Stop. Okay, so that's your wicket keeping exercise for this week. Okay, if you're watching the video, you'll see what hand Ollie starts with the ball and which side he goes with the ball in hand. Each exchange of balls counts as one. I want you to do this for one minute and in one minute if you do 20 exchanges that's a bronze medal. 30 exchanges for silver, 40 is gold standard. Ollie did 40 so it's possible. Best of luck, enjoy. Thank you.